Hey there guys, welcome back to another video of all things Apple Plus. I was contemplating on this video. This is going to be... I've been thinking about this video a lot and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to make this rant. It's going to be three minutes long. I didn't want to do just a huge video or episode on this guy, but just the fact that this iPod Touch came out is just... It's a complete sham and I honestly can't believe anybody would just buy this right out the bat. And just unless if you're trying to review this for your own, you know, channel or, you know... If you're picking it up for somebody who just doesn't really need it, like, or just, I don't, I don't even know why you would need to buy this. Honestly, this is just ridiculous. But three minutes, here we go. Navigating into Apple's main web page, you can tell the fact that being in the main menu and seeing the iPod at the very bottom, or not even seeing the iPod Touch, you know, update or upgrade at the very front of the page, you can see that there, Apple doesn't really take pride in this project or even in this device. The iPod was such an amazing device so long ago that now it's just become just redundant. It's just become something that's just, it's not even necessary or needed anymore. So it, they've updated the, uh, the A10 chip from the iPhone 7 into this guy. Camera still camera quality is still the same you still get the lightning you not even get the lightning headphones you actually get a regular set of headphones with the um, regular headphone jack and then you can actually charge and use your headphones at the same time so that's cool in itself i wish they would bring that back to the old iphones but just this is a uh this isn't an update this isn't an upgrade this isn't something that i would want to spend three four hundred dollars on and there's phones out there that have that better technology that you could get on the cheap and have a better time than this and even have better quality videos better quality photos and have better speeds with your device and still be able to talk in text if you're saying that this is for younger kids and for those that are in like maybe elementary school junior high no junior high kids gonna have this and elementary school kids shouldn't even be having phones at this point this is that's in my opinion at least this is just I don't even know who this is for, really. This is this is for somebody who just isn't technology savvy and just maybe just wants to listen to music. That's the only thing I can think of. But there are many other different devices that are so much better than this out there for a better price point than two, three hundred, four hundred dollars for you know for just listening to music, really. And I just I can't see why Apple would update this only if they brought out in WWDC or later on in September and October when we have the other main event that there's going to be, you know, a complete refresh to the iPod uh, iPod Touch series and they end up redoing the whole form factor of it. And I'm looking at and I'm scrolling down through, you know, Apple's main page and I'm seeing that there's, you know, these teens that are posing with the in, with the iPod or the the device and they're po and they're I'm like, who's group FaceTiming with an iPod Touch? Really? Who's doing that? Nobody is. You're using your iPhones for that. Let's just be honest. Or you're using your Mac or you're using your, you know, your iPad Pro or anything like that. You're not using an iPod Touch. No, none of these. Uh, it's just, it's really, it's false advertising, I believe. And I just, oh, I'm not, okay, three minutes. That's it. I'm just going to leave it at that. Don't buy this device. This is just a money grab from Apple. I just, that's just my opinions, my thoughts. I hope you guys did like this video. If you guys did, please like, comment, subscribe. Oh my gosh, this is just a, a, a really bad device. I'll catch you guys later.